Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. If you haven't been here before, welcome. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how I paint my jeans. This is kind of a cool habit that I picked up during quarantine. It's just a creative activity that I like to do and it lets me upcycle some of my jeans that maybe I don't wear as often. So I actually decided to repaint this pair of jeans. They were pretty cracked and this was because I didn't use a textile medium when I was painting them originally. I just went right in with the acrylic paint and unfortunately that did not last well when I washed my jeans. So I am going to repaint them with a new pattern. And I figured while I talk to you about how to paint your jeans with acrylic paint, I would show you a little video of me painting my jeans with acrylic paint. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab yourself some acrylics, some paint brushes, especially with fine tips if you're doing detailed work, and some textile medium. I got all of this stuff at Michael's. I'm sure that you could too. I will link what I use down below. So basically the first thing that you are going to want to do is decide on a design. I chose the Powerpuff Girls heart design. It's really big right now. It's very trendy, but I really like it. It's very nostalgic. I used to watch Powerpuff Girls all the time, and I thought that this would be a fun little design to do on the back of my jeans on the pockets. I also decided to do two different colors, which you will see as I'm painting, because I thought that it would be more of a fun vibe. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is take some duct tape and tape it around the area that you're painting to keep everything else clean. Once you paint something with acrylic, it's near impossible to get it out of your clothing. So where the paint lands, it will at least a little bit stick. So I like to cover any area that I don't want paint on. And then after that, I took some white paint and my textile medium and I painted the base color that I am going to be using. I just painted it white because I wanted the colors to really pop. If you just start painting color on top of the jeans, you're going to have a much duller color. So I would definitely suggest starting with a white base. You should read the instructions of your textile medium. It's basically like a gluey substance that's going to make your paint more sticky and it's going to help it stay on the jeans that you paint. So my textile medium says that it's a two to one ratio. So I basically use half of the amount of textile medium for the amount of acrylic that I use, if that makes sense. So you're gonna mix that together and you're going to paint the white background. Then you're going to choose your colors. So obviously for the first side, I picked pink, and then you're going to start mixing your colors. I like to mix my colors rather than just take it from the acrylic bottle because I think it gives it like a more unique look. For this, I did have some green paint. I wanted it to be a lighter color going from like the darkest to medium to light. That is how I mixed my colors. And the only thing I would suggest is when mixing your own colors, make sure you have enough of the mixture before you start painting because it's going to be very, very difficult, if impossible, to mix the exact same color again. So you always wanna make sure you have enough. So that is basically how I painted my jeans. I really like how they came out. I love the two different colors. I think it's like funky and fresh. And I think that I did a relatively good job. I mean like, not to toot my own horn, but um, I'd also suggest Obviously, I did this. You don't have to, but drawing the design beforehand is going to help when you are painting to make sure that it's like clean lines. If that's not what you're going for, then do whatever you would like. Um, this is just like a fun way, like I said, to upcycle jeans. I thrifted these a couple years back with the intention of painting them, but I've also gone on to paint jeans that I own. I've given some to friends, I've sold some, so yeah, it's just a really fun thing to do and a nice way to sustainably continue wearing something that maybe you weren't in love with. Here is a little peel porn for you, as Christine the Hollow Queen would say. And this is the finished product. You are going to want to let these jeans dry for at least 24 hours, and then you can stick them in the dryer. I left them on for only about five minutes. You can leave them on for 10 minutes. You really don't need more than 10 minutes. This is just to really solidify that your paint is going to stay on your jeans. 
and then after you set the dryer you are going to pull them out and use an iron on them so you're going to want to get some sort of fabric in between the paint and the iron you do not want to put a hot iron directly on your acrylic paint so i used a towel and after that your jeans are ready to go here is the styling portion of the jeans. So first I styled it with this puff sleeve top. I thought that the pink went really well with the pink on the jeans. And like I said before, I really like pink and green together. I think it just gives it a funky twist. I also added these butterfly clips in alternating pink and green because I thought it just played off of the back of the pants and was just like a nice little touch. So obviously this is kind of inspired for Valentine's Day with the hearts and the pink. So you're going to be seeing a lot of pink in these outfits. Uh, there's my dog Scout checking out my outfit. Um, this is probably my favorite outfit of the bunch. I love the pink sweater. I actually borrowed it from my sister. It has like a zebra print. And I think that like the funky vibes of the top really match the funky vibes of the jeans that I painted. Then I'm also styling these gold necklaces once again, and I have a pair of earrings. One side is a rainbow and the other side is a thundercloud. Next, I decided to go a little simpler, just a white and pink combo. So I have this white sweater, which is also borrowed from my sister. And I have this pink scarf, which is from Free People. I got it a couple years back, it was a gift. I also decided to wear my gold face earrings with this because I just thought that it was a cute touch and kind of like a, a fancy vibe. And then I decided to put on my Tommy Hilfiger boots. They are basically like a platform heel. The last look is a little bit of a preppy moment. I decided to go for my big Peter Pan collar and my sweater vest. I actually knitted the sweater vest myself. It's got like dark pinks and like lighter pinks and blues throughout it so I thought it would probably go with the jeans and the back pockets. I'm still wearing the white converse here and it was just another cute Valentine's Day outfit idea. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all those youtube -y things. If you want to see how I style these jeans in other ways, then go to my Instagram account. It's linked down below. I will definitely be taking some photos in these. They're super cute. If you end up making your own jeans, then send me pictures over on my Instagram. I would literally love to see them. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!